Hi, today we're going to talk about values. Have you ever wondered what values really are and how they affect our lives? Values are those things that motivate us. It's really important to understand a little bit about values. How do they affect our lives? In almost every area of our life, we will have a set of values that helps us make decisions and do many other things. So let's have a quick look at what values do for us. Values are the things that motivate us. They fill us with, with energy for those things that we want to do. Also, they'll fill us with energy for things we want to avoid. They'll help us evaluate ourselves and others. They'll also help make decisions. When we really begin to understand our values, we can understand our own motivational drivers. So I'm going to give you a simple recipe for you to begin to explore values. Now this is just a very small tip of the iceberg in values. There's many, many more things that we can do. But this really is the start. So if you want to understand about your values, the first thing to think about is, well, where do they occur? Where do they live? We have values around our key life areas. We'll have values around work, we'll have values around our family, we'll have values around our relationships, and we'll have values around our health. All of these values help us determine how we're going to behave, feel, and be in those areas. Having a good solid set of values that you understand consciously can really be helpful when we're making decisions. It can be helpful when we're making decisions on the sort of work we really want to do the sort of work that will feed us and help us be motivated and that we'll really enjoy. It can help us understand how we want our relationships to play out, what sorts of things we need in relationships, what sorts of things we would expect from other people. It can help us create healthy families, what values the families will share, what are the things that we do with each other, what are the things we expect from each other, and how do we behave with each other. When we understand these sets of values and have an idea of what's in these sets of values, it can really help us guide our life. It can really help us decide what outcomes we want, what goals and what we're going to go for. So how do we do this? There's a really simple question to ask and here it is. When you're wanting to find out your values or even better elicit values from somebody else, the key question to ask is what's important about whatever you're going to be asking values about. So in this case you might say what's important about work? to the person. And we do this in a curious way. So what's important about work to you? I wonder whether you've really thought about that deeply. The trick with values is that if you ask this question once, you'll probably get some very surface values, you'll get, maybe you'll get some things that are expect, people expect to say, or you'll get things that might be called aspirational values. The trick here is to ask the question more than once. In fact, my recommendation is that we ask this question around 10 times. So we have a list of 10 values. I've done a list here from earlier on. As you can see, this is just a list around work. And we've got things like security, responsibility, satisfaction, respect. We'll end up, when we've asked this question 10 times, with a list of words like this. The next thing to do is to ask yourself, well, what's the most important value? Which is the value that without any other value it wouldn't be worth doing this job? Or it wouldn't be worth having a relationship? Or I wouldn't have my health? And put the number by it. You can see that here I've put the number one by satisfaction. And you can continue to rank the values like this. Here I've ranked four values. Uh, and you'll see that interestingly enough the two values that are most important, values one and two, come way down on the list. They're not the first values that pop out of people's minds. This is because values sit in our emotional center. And it takes us a little while. When, we, when we're asked the question, what's important to us, we go inside and we'll generate a set of sensations. And then after a while, we'll put a word to those sensations. And so this take process takes a little while. And as you begin to get those sensations and put words to them, you begin to get the deeper values. Once we've got our values ranked like this, there are a number of things we can do. First of all, we can ask, is this the right order? Could we have our values in a different order? Could we make one more important than another? It'll begin to open up and expose the things that we really want. So this is just the beginnings of working with values. So why don't you have a go at this yourselves? Think of a life area that you'd be, like to explore, whether it be health, family, work, relationships, or some other life area, and then begin to ask that question. What's important to you about that life area? Write down the answer. Usually these, are, these will come out as one word. Words like security, money, fun, responsibility, etc. Ask yourself the question again. 
What's in, what else is important to me about this area? And continue going. Continue writing down your answers until you have a list. There's no need to rank them until you've got the full list. Go for about 10. When you've got your 10 values, the thing you need to do then is put them into some order. Look at the values, ask yourself, are those my values? If the answer is yes, then the next question is, which one is the most important value? When you've found that, what's the next most important value? And you'll end up with a ranked list of values. You can then begin to think more deeply about this. You can begin to think about how would it be if you changed the order? What would that feel like? What would that allow you to do? Would that make you more focused in different areas? And I'm going to leave that to you. And I'll come back on another occasion and we'll talk more in depth about values.